Hello and welcome to DeFi Minutes, a channel to discuss developments in the rapidly changing world of decentralized finance. So we cannot discuss DeFi without talking about the biggest and the most influential project in decentralized finance, the Maker Project. So today I'm going to talk about five things you should know before borrowing DAI. The first thing is to understand what a DAI is. So DAI is a stable coin that is backed by crypto assets. It is pegged to the US dollar. So one DAI is always one USD. So how is DAI different from Bitcoin? The value of Bitcoin is highly volatile, while value of DAI is fixed. So in order to maintain its fixed peg to the US dollar, DAI needs a system. So that's where MakerDAO comes in. MakerDAO is the protocol that stabilizes the DAI stablecoin to ensure that one DAI is always one USD. Meaning, the protocol ensures that there isn't too much DAI or too little DAI in circulation. MakerDAO is built on the Ethereum blockchain. So as the blockchain cannot see into the real world, it needs external participants. So who are the external participants of MakerDAO? First would be the Maker Token holders. They cast votes to decide on new proposals that come through. Since cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology eliminate central authority, it needs people who share the vision of MakerDAO to come together to participate and vote on proposals to improve and maintain the protocol. Then we have the Keepers, also known as the Liquidators. Keepers maintain the stability of DAI by participating in the liquidation auction of Maker Vaults and to arbitrage DAI to maintain its stability. The third participant are the oracles. Because blockchains cannot see into the real world, oracles, for example, provide accurate price of Ethereum in real time as reflected in the markets. Okay, so now let's take a look at what DAI is used for. The MakerDAO protocol serves as a decentralized lending platform where users can borrow DAI by locking in collateral or deposit DAI to receive interest. You can also use DAI to hedge your investment portfolio against volatility in the crypto markets. You can use DAI to send money to anyone across the globe. It's fast, safe, easy to use, and you only incur very minimal fees. Now, let's talk about the DAI borrowing mechanism. In order to borrow DAI, you first need collateral. The collateral can be in Ether, BAT, or USDC. It has to be 150% of the total value of DAI that you wish to borrow. For example, if you want to borrow 100 DAI, you would need at least $150 worth of ETH, BAT, or USDC. Once you deposit your preferred collateral, the amount of DAI that you need will be minted for you to use. So when you return the DAI, you pay a stability fee, the DAI gets burnt, and your collateral will be returned to you. Let's look at the responsibility that comes with borrowing DAI. Since this is a decentralized credit platform, it will be your responsibility to ensure that the collateral does not fall below 150%. If it does, your vault gets automatically liquidated. If you deposit a cryptocurrency like Ether as collateral, you would have to closely monitor its price as crypto markets are highly volatile. If the total collateral you have in your vault falls below 150%, your vault goes through a liquidation process. The collateral in the vault is put up for an auction. Keepers will then bid on the collateral in the vault using DAI and the successful keeper will then perform the liquidation function to ensure that the borrowed DAI is returned to maker and that the DAI system is stabilized. There is also a 13% liquidation fee deducted from your collateral. So what is the significance of DAI? Why does DAI matter? First of all, it's permissionless. So you don't need permission from anyone to use DAI. Second, it's transparent. If you decide to borrow DAI today, the transaction will be recorded on a public ledger that can be accessed by anyone. Third, the MakerDAO protocol and DAI stablecoin is accessible to anyone. So anyone from anywhere in the world, regardless of their socioeconomic background, have access to DAI. It is run by the community. 
The MakerDAO community is empowered to make proposals and decide on the change they wish to see in MakerDAO. And the fifth reason why DAI matters is that it's trustless. There is no central bank that controls MakerDAO and DAI. So to sum it up, currently in our financial system, many people are not eligible to open a bank account or small businesses often don't qualify for loans as banks maintain a certain threshold to approve loans. With decentralized finance, specifically MakerDAO, everyone has equal opportunity to borrow, save, trade or send money using DAI. There is no approval or permission needed from any authority for you to use DAI. Okay, but for every financial product, there is risk. So the fourth thing that you should know is the biggest stress test MakerDAO has faced so far. So on March 12th this year, the stock markets crashed. The price of Bitcoin and Ethereum halved within a day, causing the MakerDAO protocol to experience the worst disaster it had ever seen. The sudden decline of the price of Ether caused a sudden surge in Maker Vaults to be liquidated as most vaults were using Ether as collateral. The keepers could not keep up as the MakerDAO network was congested due to the rise in transactions. Also, as MakerDAO only had crypto assets, Ether and BAT as options for collateral at that time, keepers could not get hold of DAI that they needed to bid on vault auctions. Because of this, dozens of MakerDAO vaults were emptied as one keeper figured that he could bid ETH at zero value and win auctions of vaults to be liquidated. This one keeper walked away with $4 million on Black Thursday. The action from the community that followed was to add USDC stablecoin as collateral to give keepers an alternative to generate DAI and also for MakerDAO to diversify its risk. Automatic recapitalization of MakerDAO was set in motion to cover losses. The auction was successful. MakerDAO was recapitalized and the protocol recovered more than 5 million in losses. However, the investors who lost 100% of their collateral were not compensated. A class action suit representing 3,000 investors has been filed against the Maker Foundation. The Maker investors are seeking 28 million US dollars in compensation. This goes to show that although MakerDAO protocol performed as intended, the human factor, i.e. the keeper system, had failed during the crash. As decentralized finance is still in its early phase, it needs active community participation and action to create a foolproof lending system that one day would flourish into a full-fledged bank. If you've watched this video this far and you're intrigued by MakerDAO and DAI's lending mechanism, here's how you can participate in this revolution to self-sovereign wealth accumulation. You can use DAI to save borrow, trade and send money. You can participate in various MakerDAO community discussions. You can make improvement proposals. You can vote on the proposals and if you have an idea for a DeFi product, you can also leverage its ecosystem to build a DeFi product. In conclusion, decentralized finance needs active participation and action from the community to build a world where each one of us can be our own bank. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Do subscribe to our channel, share and like this video. Bye for now!